What is there to be thankful for? Some take time once a year and focus on giving thanks for blessings received. Some just eat turkey. For believers, we're always called to have a heart of thanksgiving. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, Paul lists some to-the-point things that we need to do. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In everything, give thanks? Some things are easy. The gift of life when things go your way. The blessings of love and family. The privilege of seeing God do wonders. Sure. What about in times when it's impossible to crack a smile or in times when the world crumbles around me? James 1 verse 2 says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. We're supposed to count trials as an opportunity for God to develop us as well as to get through them. Later in James 1, the virtue of patience is developed in us as we go through hard times. So regardless of circumstance, and even in the worst of times, we are to continue to hope. At times we may grieve, but Jesus is our hope. Through these hard times, we also have been given the gift of prayer. We are also to rejoice in all things and to pray with thanksgiving. Philippians 4, 4 through 7 reads, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. May you bring every concern before the throne of grace to our compassionate high priest, Jesus, who has undergone every temptation as we have, yet without sin. The Bible states in 1 John 1, 9 that Jesus is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you of your unrighteousness. No matter what you've done or said or thought, there is hope for you while you are here. Jesus sent out his disciples and granted them authority over many things, including demonic spirits. Yet he says about this in Luke chapter 10, verse 20, Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? If yes, then rejoice. Share this hope with others. If not, again, there is hope right now. Through faith in Jesus, you can be forgiven and cleansed and redeemed and led to eternal life in glory. Ask God to forgive you of your sins. Believe in Jesus, who died for the penalty of our sins and was brought back to life by the Father to show his approval of Jesus' sacrifice. And follow Jesus. He loves you. And if you know that love, then that is something to be thankful for.